the vexation of a shot in Princess Vampire Volume 1 review. Here at Anime Yuki News, we're particularly fond of Vampire series and I'm sure it will come as no surprise to find me reviewing the new series. The vexations of a shot in Prime Vampire Princess from Yen Press, but does it prove an interesting read? Let's find out. Our story follows Vampire Tarakomari Gandel's blood. Gandel's blood, known as Komari for short. A shot in who spends her days reading books and working her own novel. Coming from a renowned family of vampires, Komari's father doesn't want to her to spend her days closed off from society after Komari pretends to have ambitions of becoming a empress. Her father gets her a position as a commander in the Motnai Imperial Army. Komari hears of her new position when a new maid called Vil comes to wake her one morning and our heroine soon figures out that she was no choice but accept the job. This only got for bad to worse, but she discovers that her unit is composed of ruffians who are more than happy to revolt against their commanders. Should they find them in the quit against the odds? Can she lead a group of victory in the battles that lie ahead? Under the country Komari lives in, in is at the war with the six surrounding countries. There's no real risk to anyone since they live close to a magical item that will resurrect anyone near it, no matter what fatal wounds they may have had inflicted upon them. Under they still feel pain, so they certainly don't want to get hurt to the point of death, even temporarily, so these countries are essentially fighting for the hell of it, with no chance of anyone coming out on top, but they enjoy going to war against one another, so no one really cares. Winning the fights, as it turns out, isn't a problem for Komari's ragtag team. Her bigger problem is that fact she can use magic as it was weak and clumsy thanks to her aversion to drinking blood. This means that she needs to spend all of her time pretending to be mighty without actually being made to do anything. Her maid Vil understands Komari's predicament and tries her best to help out, at least when she's not lusting over Komari anyway. Normally I will be all for a setup like this, a shiny character who is brought up of the shell of giving friends or companions, they can really rely on his often a wondrous story to watch unfold by the fixations of the shot and vampire's princess. Just easy to tick in the right boxes for me. Most of this is due to the home humor being so centered around Vil's infatuation, but a master which author Kote Kobayashi does try to explain towards the end of the book, but it comes too little. Too late. It's not much fun to read drunk dialogue and situations that border on sexual harassment and that Komari is so obviously comfortable with. I could probably put up with this if the humor wasn't the main focus of the book. I would spend more time with Komari and Vil interacting than would do anything else, including the battles. Not that I think a focus on the battles will have help either when Komari's company consists of oddmouth like a soldier, only speaks and raps. It's just very disjointed with the setting and I think most readers are going to struggle to get past that and enjoy what little story there is here. Once we got in toward the end, it lives into why Komari becomes shut in and had a much better time with the book. But it wasn't enough for me to drastically change my opinion. I think we're ultimately come down to this as an old drone there are something entertaining bits here and there. It's just not recommendable. There are so many other stories out there at this point that there is no reason to waste your time on something that has so little respect for its cast and shows no signs of improving on that in front end either. As previously mentioned, the vaccination of Shadow Vampire Princess Volume 1 comes to the West thanks to Yen Press and has been translated by LV Lon. The translation reads well with no issues to note. This release includes color pages with illustration by Richu, who is also the artist of the currently not licensed manga adaptation. As much as you complain about the book, I have to say I like the illustrations which capture some of the fight scenes that depict some of Komari's subordinates in great detail. The series is ongoing in Japan with seven volumes, while volume 2 is scheduled for an English release in August. Overall, the vexation of a shining vampire princess volume 1 proves to be the most disappointing light light novel I read in quite some time. The issues with it are so prevalent and there's no getting around it for long enough to find a compelling reason to recommend this to its intent audience. A huge shame given that we could be have been and some of the personalities of the cast we turned down a notch or three. Three out of ten.